Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another round up video. In this one, we have two watches of which we are going to be unboxing. The camera can't quite make out these reflective boxes, but um, these are Epoch watches. Uh, they are a Swedish watch company based in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. The founders behind Epoch are also the founders of two other Swedish watch companies, those being Sjö and Helda, which um, you might know of as well. So this is, as I said, just an unboxing. And so before we get into it, let's uh, take a look at what I am wearing today. Uh, today I am wearing, as per usual, my Omega uh, Seamaster Diver 300M. This is my own personal watch. It's a beautiful piece. And so I've had this for about one and a half months now. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a keeper. So uh, yeah, and by the way, the review of this watch will come out in about a week or so. So uh, stay tuned for that. Now, without any further ado, let's jump into one of these two boxes. So here we go, Epoch, Stockholm. Let's open this one up. And wow, we are greeted with uh, a nice looking lacquered wooden box and uh, nothing else it seems. So let's get that one out. Nothing else here, nope. And let's put that to the side. We have no branding whatsoever. I don't know if I'm a fan of that or not, but uh, that's the way it is. And uh, let's just get the focus right and uh, let's open this up. Whoa, and here we are. Epoch here on the back we have the watch sitting in a cushion style thing and then below here we have i'm assuming our manual yes uh, this is as you can see the epoch president and the color here is called indigo blue it's a very vibrant blue color which this camera can't pick up that well but it looks stunning in real life and as you can see by the movement of the second hand, this is a quartz watch. It retails for about $1,200, which could seem a bit much for a, um, a quartz watch. Uh, but the fact is when you have less money going into the actual movement of the watch, the company can spend some extra money on the actual finishing of the watch. And um, I gotta say that shows. This is a beautifully finished watch. I love the bracelet design. It's very reminiscent of the Sjöstrøm um, of their bracelet. Although, of course, a little bit different. We have the Epoch uh, logo here and the naming. And it's a butterfly clasp. A very solid one. All right. We have brushed sides to the bracelet with polished midlinks. Looks a lot like the Patek Philippe Nautilus bracelet. It seems as though the second hand is lining up very, very nicely actually with the, uh, the markings there. So great job on that. Uh, this is, as I said, the precedent in the indigo blue color variant. Does it have the bracelet option? It's 40 millimeters in diameter. It's 12 millimeters thick and everything is of stainless steel. It's got domed sapphire glass, which is nice to see. I'm not sure if it's anti-reflective. Let's see, let's compare this to my Omega. Uh, it does not seem to be very anti-reflective, but I'm gonna have to test that out later. We have a 20 millimeter lug width. We have a nice water resistance rating of 100 meters or 10 atmosphere. And the movement, while it is quartz, is of a very high quality. It's the ETA E64.111. It's a pressy drive movement. Uh, it's a very, very accurate movement. It should be accurate to just a couple of tenths of seconds per year, which is uh, fantastic. So um, that's gonna be very exciting to check out. Uh, so that's the precedent with the indigo blue dial. Now let's take a look at the other watch. Let's just put this back where it's supposed to be quickly. Okay, so here we have the other watch. It's got an identical outer box, and I suppose the inner box is of the same as well. Uh, yes, the lacquered wooden box. It is quite nice looking, just a little bit on the boring side in my opinion. They could have spruced it up a little bit with a logo here, maybe 
maybe a gold logo or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's unbox this watch too. And there we go, we have a different bracelet. That's the first thing I notice. And it's a chronograph. Very nice. With a very unusual sub-dial placement. All right, all right. Let's get this out of its cushion. All right. Okay, this is a very interesting watch too. Beautiful dial here. And a great looking bracelet too. All right, I do love this watch so far. Uh, we have the same case design, I believe, but um, we do have some pushers here instead for the chronograph. And let's see if the chronograph movement lines up too. And uh, yeah, it seems to line up very well. Nice job on that. Let's reset it. All right, nice. So here we have the date function there. We have uh, the, the tenths of a second here for the measurement and then 30 minutes here for the measurement too of the chronograph. Here we do have applied markers with loom it seems and we have the same hands as on the other watch. So this is in the same precedent lineup of watches, although this is of course the chronograph version. It does seem to feature the same casing as it does feature the exact same dimensions. So the movement here is an ETA power drive movement with the reference ETA 251.274. So uh, my first impressions are good. Uh, these two watches look quite unique. They are quite uh, different, which is very nice to see of a less popular brand. You know, they have to stand out somehow and Epoch does seem to do that quite well here. I do want to thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for my review of these two watches. Those will come out in about two or three weeks. And so with that said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.